So welcome to our 27th Visual Basic tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to download a file from the internet and then run it if you wish. So all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button and I'm just going to resize that to fill the form change the text to download file Oops. like that, made a few errors there and change the text of the form to downloader so I double click on the button and make some space in here and we need to put two lines to download and run a program so I just put my dot computer dot network and then dot download file and then put open bracket close bracket and inside here you're going to put speech marks and then you put like http colon slash slash um, url dot com slash file dot exe or whatever the file location is but since I don't have a file on the internet I'm just going to put url of file and obviously this won't work but that's just so that you know what it is then after that speech mark you're going to put a comma then you're going to put the local uh, the local address that you want to save it as so this could be like c co colon slash uh, backslash sorry uh, file dot exe so you've actually got to put the, the uh, extension and the file name as well as the directory that's just, that it's going to be in but again I'm just going to put location of local file then underneath that, so that's just going to download it. Now we've got to actually run this file. So all we have to do is process dot start, and I think there's only one C in there. Yep. And then inside brackets, you're just going to put speech marks, and then the location. So again, this would be like C colon backslash file dot exe, or wherever you saved it. And again, I'm just going to put location of local file. So that's how to download and run a program. Obviously I can't run this because I don't know what will happen. It will probably just give me some kind of error. But that would be how to download and run a file. So you're just going to have to trust me that that works. You can try it out for yourself if you've got a file on the internet somewhere. So don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe if you found this useful. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.